Tetanus prophylaxis. Step one, we have three steps. Step one, you have to know the type of wound, whether this type is clean or this is dirty wound. I would say clean and dirty wound. Step two, to know immunization history of our patient. Fortunately, that all our patients are non-immunized, so all have the same categories. Rarely you will face an immunized patient. One time I received a patient with wound, and she is not from Iraq, uh, working with the NGO. Uh, she's Australian, and she was vaccinated. Okay, this is only occurred one time during my life. So all our patients in Iraq considered as non-vaccinated patient. Step three, you have to know what to give. We have two types. We have tetanus immunoglobulin, we have tetanus toxoid. Sometimes the tetanus immunoglobulin available, sometimes the tetanus toxoid available, sometimes both are not available, sometimes both are available, okay? We will discuss the scientific way what to give. So, wound classification. As the first step, we want to know the type of wound. Is it a clean wound or is it dirty wound? To make it easy, this diagram will show you. If you have, if you have wound less than six hours, this is considered as tetanus prone. If you have uh, one, more than one cm, this is tetanus prone. If you have missile, crush, burn, frost bite, those are tetanus prone. If you have devitalized tissue, this is tetanus prone wound. If you have con uh, contamination by dirt, feces, saliva, and soil, this is tetanus prone wound. Yes. No, no, and one of the mistakes. Now, what to give? The first question you will ask yourself about tetanus. Is the patient clean wound? And this is the clean wound. Is the patient has all others wound or let's say the dirty wound to make it easy. So the first step, I will check clean or dirty. The second step, I have to know this is unknown immunization or immunized patient. The third step, I have to take a decision to give tetanus toxoid or tetanus immunoglobulin. So let's start with the most common in our locality. The most common in our locality is to receive a patient with a wound and this wound is contaminated with soil or uh, dirty, and our patient is non-immunized. Again, non-immunized patient with dirty wound. I will take a look. This is, this is the dirty wound, and this is non-immunized patient. What I will give? I have to give both tetanus toxoid and tetanus immunoglobulin. Clear? This is the most common situation. Unfortunately, not every time those both are available. So give what is available for that patient. If both available, give them both, the tetanus immunoglobulin and the tetanus toxoid. Which is the vaccination, the immunoglobulin or the tetanus toxoid? Toxoid, thank you. What are the doses for immunization? of toxoid. So still, this is our patient. Let's suppose that I want to give this patient vaccination. Our patient who has dirty wound presented and I give him tetanus toxoid and immunoglobulin. I want to put him on a schedule. What are the doses of tetanus toxoid? Remember, day zero, six weeks, six weeks, three months. Day zero, six weeks, six weeks, three months, and booster five years. Okay? Now, what if the same patient from our locality, we receive this patient with a clean wound, just a simple wound by knife, let's say by knife. 
a female while she is walking, uh, working on the kitchen and uh, she injured her left hand by a knife. This is a clean wound. What you will give? And she is not immunized. What you will give? The immunoglobulin should not be given unless dirty wound. So no immunoglobulin, we, we will give no immunoglobulin. We will give just the tetanus toxoid. We will give just the tetanus toxoid for that lady. Okay, clear until now? Okay. What about the immunized patient? Immunized patient, if the immunized patient has a clean wound, nothing needed. If this patient has a clean wound and he is immunized, this patient need nothing. Just we will give tetanus toxoid if the last dose since 10 years. If the last dose since 10 years, we will give tetanus toxoid. So ideally, we will give nothing for a clean and immunized patient regarding tetanus prophylaxis. For dirty wound and immunized patient, we will also give nothing. For an immunized patient, we will also give nothing. We will just give tetanus toxoid if the last dose received within the last uh, more than five years ago. Okay? I will repeat those again. If we have dirty wounds, an immunized patient, and this is the most common in our locality, we will give both. If we have dirty wounds in immunized patient, we will give nothing, but we will give tetanus toxoid if the patient received his vaccination more than five years ago. Now, what about a clean wound? If we have a clean wound in non-immunized patient, we will give tetanus toxoid only. No need for immunoglobulin. This is a clean wound. If we have a clean wound in immunized patient, we will give nothing unless the last vaccination was 10 years ago. Clear? OK. So, to make it easy, if lacerated wound or dirty wound, if he is vaccinated, no need for uh, uh, immunoglobulin, and we will give tetanus toxoid if the last dose more than five years. If not vaccinated or unknown vaccination or less than three, we will give both. If a clean wound vaccinated, we will give nothing unless it's more than 10 years. If not vaccinated, we will I just give tetanus toxoid for that patient. What if kid, all of us are non-immunized against tetanus. What about the kids who are receiving uh, DTP vaccine nowadays? What about them? Less than 10 years. We will speak about the kids less than 10 years. Above, less, above than 10 years, we will deal with them as adults. Less than 10 years, consider all wounds other than clean minor wounds should be considered as tetanus prone and they will receive tetanus immunoglobulin only, no need for tetanus toxide. So let's say seven years old boy presented with a wound in the hand and this wound was dirty, what you will give? Tetanus toxide or tetanus immunoglobulin? Immunoglobulin, no need for both in the kids below 10 years. That's the idea. What you will do if you are in the emergency department and the available is just tetanus toxoid and you receive this patient, the seven years? No need, no need. It will give no benefit for that patient, okay? Nothing, nothing. Clean wound, need no immunoglobulin, okay? Any question?